this video when you hear the bell. Ooh, search party where our buddy's ankles. Ooh, hit life alert when I swear, cause this stick is fatal. I'm top man, call me Mr. Drado. Ooh, saucy with it, this that chicken in that white Alfredo. Ooh, you better wake up, this Batman, huh? They want my belt, I'm Batman, huh? Somebody won't play for a shootout, ayy. I shoot the thing up like Batman, huh? You all wanna know how I'm big now, ayy. I'll show you how to get the mask games, huh? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, put it down, put it down, put it down, gang. Can't stop my stretch, huh? I got you in debt, yeah. I'm so in your head. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait, wait. yeah. Work out the night flex, huh? Stick work got you stressed. Yeah, I'm happy you're impressed. Ay. All right, man. Back at it with the next Jenny Young. Um, today we're gonna have a very, very interesting conversation, a Madden conversation. And if you hear like some knocking or some beating in the video, it's because my neighbors that are right beside me are remodeling their house. So they're knocking and beating now. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, man, got to get videos out, got to record. So that's what we're doing. Uh, 42 and 6 is my record. Um, today we're playing the Saints. I know that for a fact. Saints. Steelers, then Texans. Three games, or uh, three teams left. So, excuse me, let's get into it, man. Shout out to that boy, Go to Mills. He's a tough, tough Saints fan. He's a big Saints fan. Don't know who I should rock with, man. I hate Jameis Winston with a passion, but I think somebody who told me, I think somebody commented down below and they said, whenever you play with the Saints, please leave Jameis in. So I'm leaving Jameis in. Um,. Michael Thomas a 91 overall. I feel like he's a lot better than that, but we only got we got 75 overall, 91 speed. I don't know. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Kenny Steele's got to play 91 speed. Um, this is just a slow ass team, man. Offensively, this is a slow ass team. Davenport, Cameron Jordan, okay. Um, Demario. Davis, Quan Alexander, those guys won't be playing for me. I don't play with linebackers in. They might have to get on the D-line or something. Let me see something. Let me see what ability he got. Outmatched, out my way, secure tackler. He got to be on like, a edge. he got to be an edge rusher or something. He got to be. But um, let's see how we're going to do this right here. This is what's tough. Malcolm Jenkins starting. Where? Roby's gonna be here. And then we're gonna go to sub linebackers. Actually, we're gonna go to slot. And that's where we're gonna put you and Marcus Williams, maybe? So who's gonna be my sub linebackers? CJ Gardner Johnson and Ooh, PJ Williams. Um, actually, we're going to go with JT Gray, and then my user will be, damn, I guess Ken Crawley. Um, hmm, it's interesting, man. So right here, we're going to go with, I want to play Malcolm Jenkins. He, he got he got to have good zone, like he got to have good zone. Got to play recognition eighty eight, zone coverage eighty. Yeah, but they don't play good zones on here anyway. Like, and that eighty five speed's gonna kill me. Um, we're gonna go with PJ Williams right there, eighty eight speed. Roby, King Crawley, third down, Alvin. Alvin in the slot. What do you got on you? Apprentice, short and elite. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep you right there. Um Cameron Jordan. Off this end, let's go to Mario Davis in the middle. Let's go. Davenport. Um let's see. Bam bam. Bam. Marcus Williams is my cloud. No, that's PJ Williams. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Man, we're good. 
We're good. Jameis, if you feel me, you get to start eating crab legs and shit out there on the field, I will replace your ass. Just letting you know now. But today, interesting conversation. My allergies are whooping my ass right now, honestly. I don't know what it is, start of summer or what, but allergies are on my ass right now. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy, prize picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board, choose over or under their projected stat line for the day, and choose which way you want to profit. With Flex Play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes' touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with Prize Picks, including Famous Lowe's, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, Prize Picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, Prize Picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download Prize Picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. All right, conversation of the day, man. So Civil posted this right here. Civil said, Average mutt guy is a way. I'm talking about way. I think he had like 12 wives at the end of a way better than the average regs dude. And form followed up and said, I told them this, but they got mad at me. Laugh out loud. Now, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the difference between mutt and let's talk about the difference in regs, man. Because I was strictly a regs guy. And everybody told me, listen, everybody told me, there's no way you can do the shit you're doing in mutt. You would not be a good mutt player. Like the shit you're doing over here, we're not going for that shit in mutt. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, what's the difference? You know what I'm saying? They're both, it's, it's both Madden. And, but what I did not understand is mutt and rigs are way different. Mutt and rigs is totally different. It's two different ball games. It's like current gen and next gen, pretty much. Now, let's talk about current gen rigs and current gen mutt. The game speeds are different. You know, not, not, I'm, not like the, the game speed, like slow and whatnot. But like everything is faster on Mutt. 99 players here, 99 players there. You got D Lyman in Mutt. You got D Lyman in Mutt who are. You got D Lyman in Mutt who are 95, 96 speed. Whereas in Regs, the only D Lyman that's close to that is probably. Um, the Redskins and Montez Sweat, who's 91 speed, I believe. You know what I'm saying? But your average DN is not going to be that fast. You know what I'm saying? So it's the, the speeds are different. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, also, whereas in, in Mutt, you can put abilities on different players. You know what I'm saying? Whereas in Regs, you're constricted to what abilities you got on each team, you know what I'm saying? So in Mutt, in Mutt, you're allowed to, you know what I'm saying, each player has a weakness. My weakness is I cannot stop the run. As y'all will see this game right here, this seems like a pretty consistent runner. I can't stop the run. Whereas if I was to play Mutt, I can build my team based on stopping the run. You know what I'm saying? I can build teams based on my weakness. You know what I'm saying? So in regs, you can't do that. In regs, you literally can't do it. You got to find, you know what I'm saying, a team. Like, like if you can't stop the run, you got to find a team with good run defense 
at the same time, you got to try to figure out what you want on offense as well. You know what I'm saying? If you if you a passer, let's let's say you a you a you a heavy passer, but you also want a team, but you also want a team that can stop the run. That's crazy. You a heavy passer, but you want a team that can stop the run. Now you got to search through all the rigs teams to try to figure out which team best fits your skill. Whereas in Mutt, you can build your team around your skill. So that's the that's the that's the, the, a lot of people don't want to play rigs because that's a deal breaker. You know what I'm saying? Good route. Whereas, you know what I'm saying? Also, in rigs, a lot of a lot of people want to use slinger. You know what I'm saying? For a quarterback. Well, let's say you are you a runner, you know what I'm saying, but you also like to have slinger in times where you need to pass. What team in rigs got slinger, but also a good running team? You know what I'm saying? You got Seattle got slinger. Not a good running team. You got the Cardinals. Okay, James Conner. Not really a good running team. You got Chiefs. No, Mahomes don't even got something here. Um, you, I just can't think of no teams with Slinger that are like a strictly a running team. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Can we stop them? Come on. Can we stop? Who is? Okay, it's Najee Harris, but what the? He ain't no... You feel me? He's a good running back. He ain't no fucking top five running back in the league. Like, come on now. But, you know what I'm saying? So, in Mutt, you can pretty much build your team based on your scheme. And I don't I don't think people understand that that is a big advantage. That's that's really why people play Mutt. I get to build my team how I want it? Cool. Fuck regs. I'm not playing regs. I, gotta, I can build my team how I want it. You'll see people put straight abilities on offense alignment, fullback, and running back with a shitty-ass quarterback, no receivers, and they'll run goal line all game. Okay, cool. That's a mutt. Cool. You know what I'm saying? If that's your scheme, that's what you're running on, cool. If that's what you're running on, then cool. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to rigs, what team are you going to play with that can do that? Okay, Titans. Cool. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't got abilities on every offensive lineman. They just got Derrick Henry and they got Darring, uh, Darrington Evans at running back. Two good, solid running backs. Cool. But now, what do you play on defense? Are you a man-to-man -man type of guy that just like the man blitz on defense? Okay. The Titans only got one fast corner in Farley, 95 speed. Everybody else, uh, no, they got Dane Cruchank, who's like 92. Everybody else, 88, 87, 86. So, now you're at your, your cross, you know what I'm saying? Now you're like, okay, I'm going to have a good offense. I'm still going to run my offense at goal line every single fucking play. But as far as defense, you're going to be stuck. So you can't sit here and say, I mean, you can say the average, I, I agree that the average Mutt player is better than the average Riggs player. Simply because in Mutt, you got to know more. Because there's more in mud than rigs. You know what I'm saying? You got to defend more in mud than you got to defend in rigs. You got teams in mud with fucking three route ticks. There ain't no team in rigs with three route ticks. You got quarterback with high route master and gunslinger in, in, in mud. Only, only person who got that is Tom Brady in rigs. So if you're not playing against Tom Brady in rigs, you don't got to worry about high rock master and sling at the same time. There's only one quarterback with high rock master in rigs, Tom Brady. So if you ain't playing against Tom Brady, you don't have to worry about high rock master. You know what I'm saying? So as far as like the, as far as like the average mutt player being better than the average rig player, I do agree with that. I do agree with that because you got to know more in mutt than you do in rigs. You got to try to defend more. But also, in Mutt, you're trying to defend more with more. You got fucking three inside stuffs on, on the D-line. Who, who, who in Riggs got three inside stuffs? Nobody. You got, you got five or six acrobats. 
Who in rigs got five or six acrobats? Nobody. You got film study. Who got film study in rigs? Nobody. You got all that shit on one defense. So at the same time, yes, you yet yes, the average mutt player is gonna be better because they know more. They're gonna know more than the average rigs player because you know what I'm if you just strictly play rigs, you don't know what the fuck's going on in mutt. And then you play against somebody who's who's a mutt player and he comes to rigs. He's gonna know more than you because he's had to defend more than you over there on Mutt. Um, he's had to run different stuff over there on Mutt. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, can, can we stop the madness, man? Eleven rushes. He's ran. Come on, man, stop it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I just, you just can't sit here and say just because they play Mutt, they're better than they're a better player than than a Rigs player. I should have stayed with that route. I know I should have. He didn't catch it though, but you know what I'm saying? It's it's a tough comparison because it's two different game modes. It's a tough comparison because it's two different game modes, but at the same time, it's like it's 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 tough to compare. Now, I will say this. I feel like personally, a strictly regs player can go over to Mutt and have a better chance of being successful than a mutt player coming over and doing strictly rigs. I'm going to say that. And the reason I say that is because this. When you are a strictly rigs player, you're used to playing without superstars or superheroes out there. You're used to it. You know what I'm saying? You're used to picking a team and, and understanding that there's going to be some things about the team that's not gonna match your play style. And you're gonna have to like, you're gonna have to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you're gonna have to, what's the word I'm looking for? You're gonna have to play with it. You're gonna have to like, understand that, okay. No, this game is so bad, bro. This game is crazy. Like, like, like they want, like they wanted him to catch that, regardless of what's going on. Like, what I've learned about Next Gen is they try to make it close. Like, they don't, they don't care about. You rarely see blowouts on Next Gen. If you if you see a blowout, it's because the other player just super bad. And this dude's super bad, but that was that was terrible. That was bad. But like right now, I'm I'm playing Riggs, and I'm playing with. I'm playing with the we're playing with the Saints and the Steelers. Nobody's gonna come over and be like, okay, these are the two teams I want to play with. I, I want to play with the Saints and the Steelers. And, and you can't like you 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 give a pro player the Saints or the Steelers, they won't like like you give a mutt player the Saint or the Saints or the Steelers, they won't know what the fuck to do. They'll look at that team and be like, what? I don't have Slinger. I don't have no route techs. I don't have no inside stuff. I don't have no acrobats. What do I do with this team? You know what I'm saying? What do I, what do, I do? They're, they're both not good running teams. Not good, not, not really good passing teams. They gonna look at you and say, what in the hell? Please make the, oh my God. This game is so damn bad. You give a, you give a mutt player one of these teams, they're going to say, man, I don't know what to do with this shit. That's why when you see, that's why when you, when you see the Mutt players come to Regs, what is the first thing they say? I'm trying to play with Slinger. What is the first thing they go and do? They go and get Green Bay or they go and get the Cardinals with, with Escape Artist and Slinger. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get the best team on the game. They're going to get one of the best teams on the game. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna go. They're gonna go and get a team that resembles the Mutt team the most, because that's what they're used to. You know what I'm saying? You can't give a Mutt player the Steelers, the Saints, the Jaguars. You can't give them no team like that. They'll look at you crazy. I say this shit's boring. I don't want to play this shit. This shit's boring. What the hell do you got me out here playing? This shit's stupid. That's what they're gonna say. This shit's stupid. I don't wanna play this shit. 
It's just boring. I don't I don't have no good players. This shit's dumb. It's just retarded. That's why you're gonna always get the 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 stigma. Regs is boring. Regs is dumb. Nobody wants to play Regs. Because you're out here playing with with regular ass players, which is crazy though, because that's what we're watching on Sundays. Regular ass players. We're not watching Michael Vick throw the ball to Tyreek Hill. You know what I'm saying? We're not we're not watching that on Sundays. We're not we're not watching Calvin Johnson at free safety. We're not watching Tyreek Hill at the end. I'm, I'm throwing it to the tight end. That's a touchdown. You feel me? We're not watching that shit. But as a video game, that's what people want to play because it's it's more interesting to see fucking Michael Vick at running back, fucking Jameis Winston at punter. Like that's what people want to see because it's 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 different. People don't like rigs because it's the same shit every single time you get on it. The same teams, the same this, the same that. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I used to be a strictly a strictly rigs player. Like nigga, when I get on, I'm gonna pick my team, and whatever team I pick, that's the team I'm playing with. You feel me? And you gotta show me that you can find a team to stop exactly what I'm running. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of player I used to be. Now, as y'all see, though, it doesn't matter if it's current gen, next gen, franchise, rigs, mutt, PlayStation, Xbox, GameCube, Dreamcast. It don't matter what it is. I can load up. You can give me any team, and I can play with them. In any mode, I can play with them. You know what I'm saying, and that's what. And, and I, as and, and when you try to figure out who's a better player, I feel like that's how you gotta. I feel like that's how you gotta name who's the better player. You can't just say Mutt and Riggs. Yeah, somebody who strictly plays Mutt all day is gonna be better than someone who strictly plays Riggs all day because that's all he play. All he plays is Mutt. He's dealing with more over there. He's dealing with more. Now, as just a base player. I feel, I feel like to see who's the better player, put these people in rigs. Put them in mud. Put them in... Can I pick that off? Thank you. Put them in rigs. Put them in mud. Put them in franchise. Give them a team with no slinger. Give them a team with, with no route kicks. Give them a team with no... You know what I'm saying? And then give the players teams with... with all-star mutt teams, you know what I'm saying? Give them everything. Give them all that and see how they play. You know what I'm saying? But you can't just look at somebody who plays mutt and look at somebody who plays regs and say, oh, this mutt player is definitely a better player than him. Yeah, he's going to be for sure. He's, he's playing. He's dealing with more shit over there. He's playing with more. Yeah, he's going to know more. He's going to know more glitches and more blitzes and, and shit like that. But I feel like, but I feel like at the same time, you bring that muck player to Regs, he won't beat that Regs player because that muck player will be without his superstars and shit. And then you you take a, a regular ass Regs player and give him more shit. He's already good. He's already good, but you give him more shit to, to play with, it's going to take him a little time to get, get used to it and the speed and everything and, and, the, and the reads and everything, but you give him more, it's going to be like, oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like, like you give somebody you give somebody $1,000 and you tell them, go shopping. And get fresh and fly as you can. Go get fresh and fly as you can with a thousand dollars. And they come back fresh and fly as fuck. But you give somebody two hundred dollars and you tell them go get fresh as you can. And they and you know what I'm saying? And they go get fresh and fly as fuck. And this person with two hundred dollars is consistently getting fresh and fly as fuck. And then this person with a thousand dollars consistently getting fresh and flies fuck. You start giving that person with a thousand dollars two hundred dollars to get fresh and flies fuck. 
They might come back with a fresh ass shirt and a pair of jeans and don't know what shoes to wear. You feel me? Don't know what shoe to pick out, none of that shit. But you give somebody who's used to have a $200, $1,000, Boy, let me tell you, they're gonna be like, they're gonna be, they're gonna be like, whoa, hold on now, I got, I, I done spent two hundred dollars, I'm fresh as fuck, I got eight hundred dollars left. I can really get jiggy with this shit now. You feel me? I feel like that's how it is. I feel like that's how it is. Now, we're gonna talk about this right here. Don't pick that. Oh my god, they almost done picked that up. I would have been sick. Now, are mutt players generally? Gonna be better players than regs players, yeah. Because like I've already said, they're dealing with more over there. They're dealing with more. They see more. They're seeing more stuff. But if you just put those two players on current gen, next gen, mutt regs franchise, you put up the all the different modes. That's how you're going to determine who's the better player. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's how you got to compare players. Because just looking at a mutt player and looking at a race player just ain't enough. That ain't that ain't enough. Why does he keep running the same ass blitz? Like, why? Why does he keep doing that? Like this player, Like, this player right here. You're probably looking at this dude and saying, this dude is trash can. And this is going to be your regular ass regs player. This is your average regs player right here. And he is trash can him. He's trash can. He's playing on the D-line. Um, on offense. He's running base scatter plays, running the ball. On offense, he's, he's trash can. This is your average... This is your average race player. I can't imagine somebody who plays mutt, average, like an average mutt player. I can't imagine an average mutt player being worse than this guy right here. I can't imagine it. It, it's, it, it won't be possible. So, yes, I agree with Forum and Civil. I do agree with him 100%. Your average, your average mutt player is way better than your average Riggs player. I do agree with that. But... Now, I'm not talking about individual players. I'm talking about as a whole, as, as, as a group. The people who are your average mutt players are going to be better than your average race players. Now, once again, to see who, you know what I'm saying? If you pick one player out of there and one player out of there to see which one of those players are the better player, you're going to have to put them through current gen, next gen, Rigs, Mutt, Franchise. You feel me? To see who's the better Madden player. Not who's just better at their respected game mode. You feel me? I feel like you got to really like put them through some tests. Don't just, don't just, hey bro, go line up. Go line up. Against, you're a Mutt player? Go line up against a Mutt player. Let me see how you do. You're a Rigs player? Go line up against a Rigs player. Let me see how you do. Hell nah. Put him versus him. Put him versus him. Take away Slinger, take away Hot Rod Master, take away, you know what I'm saying, pick artists and acrobats. Give him pick artists, acrobat, give him Hot Rod Master, and now, now let's see how they play. You feel me? You feel me? But don't just, don't just, don't just look at him and just put him in a box. Man, he a regs player, he suck. Oh, he a mutt player? I'm taking him over him just because he a regs player and just because he a mutt player. You can't do that. I'm living proof. I'm an example. If y'all watch my other channel, I do have a Mutt channel. A lot of people don't know, but I do have a Mutt channel. It's called Black Rain 4-2, where I play Mutt at. And you will watch me do the same exact shit that I'm doing on current gen rigs, that I'm doing on current gen franchise, that I'm doing on next gen. This is next gen PlayStation. I play everything else on current gen Xbox. I'm doing the same shit. Against people who are, against people who play mutt regularly. I don't play mutt regularly. I hop on, I hop on, play weekend league, go 24 and 1, 25 and 0, 23 and 2, 
at worst, consistently at worst, 22 and three. I lose t three games out of 25. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's like consistently the worst I do, 22 and three, which is not bad at all for me. I hop on Thursday through Saturday, sometimes Sundays, and play against people who do that shit week in, week out. And I'm scoring, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm winning 25, 24 games. And I'm your, I'm I, I'm the regs player. You know what I'm saying? I'm somebody who's just been playing regs. Thank you. He ran that, he ran that same play earlier, but the tight end was on the other side. I'm, I'm the type of person that, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't hop on and just stick to just one, one game mode like I used to. Man, back in Madden 20, you couldn't get me to play a franchise. You couldn't get me to play mud. I was a regs demon. Back in Madden 20, I won 1,400 games and lost 100. My record was actually 1,400 and 125. 1,400 wins, 125 losses. And all I played was strictly rigs. That's all I played, strictly rigs. But now, I'm playing rigs, franchise, and mutt on different systems and stuff. So when I take losses and whatnot, I don't be mad. Because I'm all over the place. Current gen, next gen, I'm all over the place. You know what I'm saying? But then when I sit here... And I stick to just a strict schedule, a strict game plan, a strict mode, a strict team. It's gonna be hard to beat me. And I feel like that's the same way when you're comparing an average mutt player and an average rig player. When he's when all he does is play mutt, he's gonna be a great mutt player. All you play rigs, he's gonna be a great rigs player. But you gotta put him through certain tests to see how good of a player they really are. That's just my opinion. Comment down below what you think. Uh, hit that like button. If you're new, hit that sub button. Thank God watching the video. Catch you next time. Peace. Hey, Blair Wayne. Alright, let's do this. For daily sticky uploads, follow me at YT Black Rain 4 on TikTok. For hoodies and t-shirts, click the link down below in the description. Black Rain's bin. That's where you get all your gear at. For funny stories and motivational stories, follow me on Snapchat at Black Rain 4. And for the latest news on everything, follow me on Instagram at Black Rain 4. And last but not least, if you want to play anybody in Rain Gang, look down below in the description. All the information is down there that you need. You dig. You dig, you dig, you dig.